Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of two-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 4.4H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 28 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Diane worked 18 hours each week during the summer. She worked a total of eight weeks and she earned $9 an hour. So how much money did she make during the summer? That's three different numbers. We're going to have to figure out what to do with all three of them. So we need to find the amount of money. So all of our answers here have dollar signs. So that's good. So we know we're going to have to deal with this. So this is definitely something we have to deal with. But we don't know how much she's worked yet. So Diane worked 18 hours each week, and she worked a total of eight weeks. So you notice that we have the same number of hours each week. So that lets me know that we are dealing with equal groups. Whenever we see equal groups, we should be thinking multiplication or division. So let's see if I can represent this with a strip diagram. So we don't know the total, but what we do know is that we've got, well, this is going to be a two-parter here. So I'm going to be number of hours. That's what I'm looking for first. So we know that she worked eight weeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split this into half, each half into half, which gives me fourths, and then each fourth into half, which gives me eight. So now I've got eight boxes, which theoretically should be the same size. And then each of these are going to be 18 hours. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there we go. I've got my eight weeks of 18 hours each, my equal groups. So this definitely looks like it's going to be a multiplication problem. We've got eight groups of 18. So I'm probably going to use the commutative property to switch those numbers around, those factors. Let's just do a little two by one multiplication right here. So I've got 18 times 8, so 8 times 8 is going to be 64. And then 8 times 1 is 8. Bring that 6 back in and you've got 14. So 144 which is not one of my answers, but that's fine. I wasn't looking for an answer yet. This is simply how many hours I have. So total number of hours equals 144. So this is the hours worked. Now, what we need to do is we need to figure out how much money she worked, she earned during the summer. So she worked 144 total hours. So if we wanted to, we can draw another strip diagram. Now we're not going to complete it because it would be a bit tedious. So we're still looking for our total. So instead of the number of hours, we're looking for how much money she earned. And so she is going to work for a total of 144 hours. So we know that 144 so I can just split this into 144 little spots. And obviously, that's not what I'm going to do. That's going to take forever. So I'm just going to draw like this. So say we've got 144 groups. Those are each an hour that she worked. And inside each of those hours, that's where the $9 comes from. So she's going to work 144 hours. For every single hour she works, she's going to earn $9. So really what we have are 144 groups of nine. So let's see, 144 hours times $9 an hour, that's going to be 36. It's so another 36, add that three, it's going to be 39. Nine times one is going to be nine, add that three, 12. So it looks like I've got $1,296. That's the amount of money she earned, which is not that bad. But she did work 144 hours, and she got $9 an hour. So my answer here is G.